Today I'm going to talk about the power of the present. The present moment has great power when you bring the presence into the present. Most of us carry unnecessary burdens because we have not learned to quickly release the past. We hold on to it. We hold on to it as if it's going to empower the present, but it does the opposite. It robs us. It anchors us into something that is no longer even real. We must learn to live in the present. That which happened yesterday, last week, last month, or even years ago cannot be recaptured. It cannot be relived. The memory of hurt feelings, mistakes, and failures become too heavy of a burden to carry. And yet, it's funny how the ego within a human being wants to carry these. I've been hurt and I take that wisdom, we tell ourselves, so that we can never have it happen again. But what it is, is daily drinking of a poison. And it doesn't hurt anyone else, it hurts and destroys us. It certainly destroys our present. When we learn to let go of that and let God, we give ourselves the greatest gift that a human being can give to themselves. The important point is that our capacity to think, our ability to enjoy life, our attitude toward the present circumstances can be vastly improved when we learn to release anything in the past that might bind us. You don't want to be in bondage anymore. You don't want to be hindered and in a self-imposed prison. You are the jailer, and you hold the key to release yourself by letting go and letting God and allowing God to fill the present moment to give you new life and to give you truly a new day to live it in. God bless you.